Guys, today we're going to be doing the monthly emergency light test. Um, now you might have remembered that I was putting a new one up, and it's this one here. It used to just be here. Well, it used to be an old fluorescent one. The fluorescent one is now in there. Just it looks a bit neater, and I put that one up there. So let's get started. This is just the monthly 30 second test. So this is the integral LED bulkhead that we can get working. It's now working. So we'll come back and check the working in a minute. Now the fluorescent JSB bulkhead. So that fluorescent bulb is working. And the lamp is operating. The labels aren't right on because that should be two. But it's good they've been changed around. We'll check that again soon. And this, uh, what's this called? Exit box is lit. So let's go and turn the lighting off. Let's draw the blinds so it's dark and we can see if they do make a difference, the emergency lights. So that's that one closed. I am trying to get as dark as I can, but all the blinds aren't black out. So it is just what it is. But the fuse board, we're going to turn off the lighting. And now we're in darkness. So, the lights are all off. And the emergency lights are all lit. That one's working. The bulkhead is working here. Um, and the exit box is still lit in here. The lights aren't working, that light is on a sensor, it's not working. No. So I've just found out that the outside lighting is actually on the circuit for plug sockets, which is interesting because so is the lights in here. But I do know the reason for that. It's because this was an extension. So let's put the power supply back on and the charge back on the luminaires. There we go. Let there be light. That actually, I did actually like, turn that off here because it was um, was an issue, but um, it stayed on for four hours. It might have been even six hours. Twenty minutes and then I need to go and put these signs out. 